Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you this amazing oil that will help you grow your bald spots. Now, if you happen to have lost hair in certain areas, just like I did here, or perhaps you're just generally suffering from thinner hair, alopecia, baldness, anything like that, this oil will certainly help a lot to regrow those areas. So I hope that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it now one thing that i would request for that you do for me guys is that you go ahead and you give this video a thumbs up and you share it with someone that you believe could benefit from it and let's hop right into it so the first thing we're going to need will be some pumpkin seeds now you can get this from your regular grocery store it's very easily found or if you can't find it i will link it in my description box so do feel free to check the link and purchase it from amazon so i'm going to go ahead and pop it in this little pan and just allow it to i wouldn't necessarily say fry but i just i'm just trying to get it um to be as dry as it can possibly be now if you're living in a hot country it's okay to just allow it to sit in the sun for a little bit and then um, essentially go ahead and grind it. Um, it's just to make it easier for the teeth of the grinder to do its work. So I'm gonna let that sit around so it can cool down and then I'm gonna go ahead and grind it. Now, just to give you some amazing benefits of pumpkin seeds, actually pumpkin seeds oil have been shown, scientifically shown, to help in treating alopecia, baldness, and essentially thinner hair. They are so full of nutrients and minerals such as zinc selenium copper magnesium iron calcium vitamin a b and c and these are super super great ingredient um, sort of nutrients when it comes to helping with thinner hair especially in men suffering from baldness due to, due to excess testosterone but it can also be amazing for women also suffering from hair loss so Pumpkin seeds are really, really good. And don't forget to include this into your diet as well, guys, because you can also reap the benefits that way. So after I grinded it until it was nice and smooth, I'm just going to place it into this little bowl, essentially. Now, we are not going to use all of this. Uh, I'm going to just use about maybe two tablespoons of this to make the oil the rest i'm going to store in a jar and use it for future diys or add it to my salads or perhaps you know to smoothies um if you want to so it is super super nutritious both for your body and also for your hair let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right Okay guys, so we are going to go in next with some rosemary. Now rosemary has actually been proven to also help a lot with hair growth or sort of thinner hair or regrowing bald spots essentially. It is very easy to find. You can find this in your regular grocery store and again you can include this to your food. Um, whenever you're cooking essentially so i added that and then i'm going in here with a tablespoon of coconut oil if you don't like it guys it's fine to just skip completely now i'm using olive oil as well um for this but again you can switch the oils based on your preference but i would definitely suggest that you stick to the olive oil because it's also full of nutrients for your hair so we're going to do the double boiler method so we can preserve as much of the nutrients as possible um from this essentially now just to let you know about how rosemary helps to um, promote healthy hair growth it works by stimulating uh, scalp circulation which is very very good when it comes to growing longer hair preventing baldness stimulating new hair growth in balding areas so super super amazing um, for hair growth so essentially after it's done guys you will know it actually is ready when the rosemary has gone from that bright green color to that kind of darker green color that i showed you earlier so after allowing it to cool down we're just going to go ahead and strain now i'm using my kitchen paper towel again um, but i found that it wasn't quite as effective to strain this oil 
um, so it's fine to use a coffee filter or let's say um, a wig cap or a stocking cap uh, that would be so much easier because you do need to squeeze hard to get most of the oil out just like you can see here Even in the hard time. Now this is what is left behind after I squeezed it. If you're using a lot of the pumpkin seeds, essentially you can keep this and use it as a dip conditioner later on instead of throwing away. But I just got rid of mine because it wasn't that much essentially. So this is my oil. You can see it's super, super rich. It has the right thickness and it is super, super good for your hair. So I'm just going to add this to a little container that I can use to store the oil and then I'm going to show you guys how you can use it. Okay guys, if you like the video so far, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to share it with that friend you believe could benefit from today's video and also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Now in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can use this and also the best way that you can use this to regrow your um let's say bald spots or perhaps you know thin areas um there are so many ways in which you can use this oil now the best way if you are looking to regrow you know thin areas essentially is to use as often as possible and uh, now consistency is what will give you the results that you're looking for now if you're using once in a while um, then it's probably not going to be as effective as perhaps using on a regular basis I would say using twice to three times a week is a really good time so just listen to your hair your hair type and basically just how your scalp is if you already have a really really oily scalp then it's not really um, necessary to go and apply more oil now the thing is when you're applying re oils uh, regularly to your scalp because your scalp naturally produces sebum as well which is just like the, your, your natural oils uh, this can essentially um, clog your pores so also remember that you may need to wash your hair a little bit more often or perhaps just that area that you are trying to um, you know to regrow if it's like your edges you don't necessarily have to wash your hair you know um, every week but at least you can wash your edges right um, so yeah just just bear that in mind as well when you're working with, with with oils and also if you know your scalp is not really producing a lot of sebum then i guess it doesn't really matter much um so essentially the oil after it's sat around it will um settle a bit at the bottom like the um stuff from the flax seeds <sighs> flax did i say flax seeds no from the pumpkin seeds will settle at the bottom so you just want to go ahead and stir that um, nicely before you use just so you can see it guys i'm just applying this to my edges um my edges are doing a lot better now um i haven't always had you know full looking edges but this oil has certainly helped me a lot and also the other DIYs that I share with you guys. So yeah, it is definitely, definitely amazing. So after applying that to my scalp guys or my edges, I'm also going to apply to my scalp um, and just make sure that, you know, every single bit of it is covered. With you and I, the future is bright. Now, after you've applied that to the area that needs help or your scalp in general, if you're just looking to gain, you know, thicker hair or perhaps, you know, fuller hair in general or just minimize thinning, don't forget to go ahead and massage your scalp, guys. Scalp massages are great um, when it comes to increasing blood flow to the scalp area, which again just nourishes your follicles and help to um, stimulate hair growth. So massage that really nicely. You can invest in a scalp massaging brush if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to because you can actually massage really well with your fingers alone. Um, but you may just need to like just take a bit of time to do it. So after I massage my you know scalp, I'm now going to go and massage my edges as well. Don't forget them, guys. And the same thing goes to those areas that you're trying to regrow basically um so massage 
I will usually massage for about five minutes but you can do more you can do less the clay just depends on you so essentially that's it once you've done it just remember to use it as often as possible and I promise you your hair will definitely grow unless you have you know um, cicatricial alopecia which will probably require like you know a dermatologist to look at it but generally if it's just you know hair loss that you perhaps you've acquired through tight hairstyles or you know um i don't know like general hair loss generally this will certainly help with it so this is pretty much it for me today guys i do hope that you've enjoyed watching the video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and also don't forget to share with that friend that family member you believe could benefit from the video and i'll catch you in my next one so do take care bye Side by side.